Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's the first day of proper Christmas nails and I'm going to be um, painting all of these in this colour from Madame Glam. It's called Baby Blue. I'm hoping it will sort of give off an ice blue effect. So I'll paint these, do two um, coats and then I'll come back to you. Okay, I've, I've done two coats of the baby blue and now I'm going to have a go at doing trees. I've not done this before, so if you decide to go along with me or copy me or whatever, I've it's the first time so I, I don't know how I'm going to go. Anyway, so I'll, I've got this new brush I'm trying. It's from Nail Nails and it's ultra fine, so I'm hoping this will give me what I'm after. I'll just dip it in there. So I'll start about here. Well, it might actually be a bit too fine. Let me try again. A little bit more paint on. That's better. Okay. So I'm basically going to try and do a tree just with little blobs like that because that's this one's the top of the tree like that and then the next one with tiny little gaps in between a bit too much on that blobby bit so going down like that because this is covered in snow this tree <laughs> even though I'm in the UK and at the moment we've got Sun but everyone seems to be doing trees now and uh, not trees <laughs> Christmas so I thought I would join in Leave a comment if you think it's too soon. And then I'm just doing another one, working down the whole way. Get a little bit more on my palette. I've mislaid my paper palette, so I'm actually using a margarine lid or a butter lid. I'm not quite sure if it's margarine or butter, but um, anything really you can use as a palette as long as it's slippy and you know it doesn't absorb. It's fine to do that. I'll do another one there. I'm just sort of working my way down. Like that. Until I get to the bottom. And then here I'm going to just do snow. with just little sweeps like that, just to join up to the tree. There we go, that's the first one. I'm thinking actually is leaning a little, so I'm just going to bring that blob over here a bit more like that, because he was leaning, wasn't he? Bring that down a little bit as well. Round it off a little bit more, I don't think snow falls quite so sharply so how's that okay that's the first one and then I'm going to do another tree here so it's sort of giving an idea of a hill like going up so I'll start with my top one there 
next one coming off there. I'll just turn this a little bit. This is one of those things where you can get in at any angle, but if If you're on somebody's hand, you can't really twist their hand the same. Again, sort of bringing it out as you go to give it the idea of sort of thickness, if that makes sense. that I want. I'm trying to get the effect of um, going up like a mountain type going up. I don't know if that's working actually. Um, to give it an idea of uh, the top of the mountain I'm going to do it like a star. Maybe that will help. Just trying to think how to get this in angle. So we'll do the dot there. That's the middle of the star. And then draw that up. And Draw that down and then just cleaning it off my brush, just bring it across this way and again hope I hope this is in picture. Let me have a look. Yeah. And then bringing it across. Really got to have a steady hand like that that's that's hopefully giving you an idea of a mountain having a star up there it's my it's a bit big actually isn't it that star but never mind it's there now and then I'm just gonna do some tiny little ones just to give it a little bit more something So that's, I've got the snow at the bottom. I'm wondering if I should, I'll just do teeny little bits of snow below that tree. Again, just to try and give it that look of a mountain. So I'm going to just put some little, little sweeps, just very light flicks across. Give it to give it that feel. I think that works. I'm wondering if I should go that side as well. Teeny bit on the end of the brush. Um, just literally just kissing the nail. Yeah, I think that works. There we go. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's that's my first attempt ever at doing <laughs> trees <laughs> and I wanted to give it some sort of dimension so hopefully that's worked so I'm happy with that I'm going to top coat that so I can protect it and then I'll move on to the next one okay I have top coated this and I've also thought 
if the sun is on it there would be little sparkles in this in the um in the snow so i've just put the teensiest little bits i hope you can see that of glitter like just a very fine plain glitter i'm really not sure if that's coming across but anyway that's the first nail done so on to the second nail right on the next nail what i'm going to try and do um is snow all along the top and then no actually i'm not what i'm going to do is i've seen a few people do it so i thought i'd try it, it it's like um I'll, I don't know how to describe it, so I'll just start and you'll understand what I mean. Right, so I'm going to have my Beetles gel polish, uh, Beetles brush, sorry, my brain today. So I'll put some, I'm wondering actually, is that going to be too thick? Maybe not, can't tell. Right, okay, so we'll start off with one line it might it might be fine enough so I'm going to do a line about here I'm going to start and then bring it now I think that might be too thick I'm going to go back to my ultra fine brush I'm going Jane make your mind up right so I'm going to Do a fine line as steady as I can, like that. And then I'm going to do one sort of swooping, and it's not easy with very fine, short brush, but I want the fine line so. There's no other way around it, so here we go. I'm going to swoop. Like that. And then bring it up. Like that. paint on the end of the brush and then I'm going to bring another one that crosses across that one and down so straight down and it's so hard to get a fine I want an ultra fine like this but with longer bristles if anyone knows where I can get one please let me know and then I'm going to try and bring it across so oh my hands wobbling hopefully the um, top coat will smooth it all out um, I don't like that bit, it's it's not how it would hang. It's not got enough swoop. There, a little bit better. You've really got to have a steady hand when you want to do art. <laughs> Right, and then I'm going to try and draw a little line coming down here. And then a tap 
attached to that a star which I've never drawn before like this so Sorry for being quiet, I'm concentrating. sure this is very good but I've committed now it's a very wonky star <laughs> okay <laughs> making it worse okay I'll stop there otherwise I'm going to make it worse and then I want to do another star here sort of coming off the nail right this is my third attempt I don't know what's going wrong. I don't think my star's too bad. But now I just can't seem to get it fine enough. Maybe if I do it a bit bigger. So, here goes. Is that going too big? <laughs> how that looks. Now what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to get this fine glitter from the Betsy gift box, the, uh, not gift box, the um, mystery box. Hopefully, I'm going to add little bits of sparkle to it. I only want a very subtle amount, just around the star like that 
just to catch the light a bit. And then pop that in the lamp. And then I'm going to pop some crystals on. I got these from Sheen. not the best quality but they are a variety of colours which is what I was looking for so I'm wanting some sort of icy blue so I'm thinking maybe these maybe these yeah I think these so I'll pop a few of these in fall the wrong way up don't they and then I'll get my gem tool I can't think what it's called there it is it has a little wax thing on the end I'll just pop one on see what the size is like first of all yeah that'll do that's fine so I'll get the wow bow gems glue Yeah, I like that. That's fine. In fact, I think I'll do another one. There. And then another one at the top. hold it to the side so the stone doesn't slip a little bit there we go it's slipping <laughs> so just get two more one at the top I think that's pretty I'm just gonna hold it slightly to the side like that under the lamp so it doesn't fall and that will just set it a little bit I'll just flash cure it okay that's quite nice I like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this star with the white and the fat the ultra fine brush so I'm just gonna fill it in like this I've probably got too much might just do actually just I can perfect the lines a little bit as well make it look a bit better like that then I've got this one which is like a bluish frosty colour again from the Betsy box just open that up and just just gently sprinkle them And you don't want too many because you, you don't want anything to be heavy handed with this nail set just gentle you're literally just kissing the top 
like that. And always remember just to wipe your brush straight away to get the bits off. Pop that under the lamp. They're good, these little pots. You don't get much in them, but if you're just using them for little bits like I'm doing, then they're gonna last for ages, so that's good. So I'll continue with the lamp for a minute, and then I'll do a top coat for another minute with the top coat, and then I'll be back. Right, the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to use stickers. And uh, I've got these stickers here. And what I'm gonna try and do is make it look like a reindeer is looking through the window. So I'm going to pop the reindeer. And it adds a little bit of color as well, just a little bit, not much. So I'm gonna pop the reindeer here like so. I'm hoping this works. It may not. Just pop him down like that. And then I've got this little frame which I'm hoping will look like a window. like that. Nice and quick and simple. There he goes, I'm hoping. Let me know in the comments if you think he looks like he's looking through the window, you know, peeping in. If you imagine a lovely log cabin in the forest, and he's come to have a little look in. So I'm just gonna tidy up the edges. Right, I've just tidied up the edges where um, it was just hanging over a little bit. I've just cut just a little bit under because obviously when you put top coat on to hold things in place, you don't want it peeling off. So I'm just going to get my dotting tool just to show that the reindeer is outside. I'm going to um, do some drops of snow just to give the illusion that the outdoors is there. Like that. That's perfect. Well, when I say perfect, I mean what I want. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm perfect. Okay, there you go. So I'll just put that in the lamp so the snow can dry. Then I'll top coat it and be back. So sorry, um, I thought this was recording. Um, I've just popped some gems and snowflakes on the nail. Um, and I, I could have sworn it was recording, but it seemed to click off for some reason. So I've just got it in the lamp now, just cooking the gems. There we go. So I'm not going to top coat that because I want to keep the texture of the snowflakes. Right, we've just got the one nail left. Right, the last nail, there's a little sign here and it's got snow. So I'm going to do those touches like I did before where you have like the stripes of snow. I'll dip my ultra fine in the gel paint. I'm just going to swipe across. Going thicker at the top, so you can see the snow. Mm -hmm. 
okay so I'll just pop that under the lamp because I don't want to knock that and then I'll get my little sign these come off really easily I suppose because they're thicker I don't know if you can see it's got a um, it's got a little hat a little, a little Christmas hat on the corner it's funny what you notice so I just take that out of the lamp because I've just flash cured that and it has a little bit of snow, so it should just sit nicely on there like that. Just press that down. Like so. And again, get my dotting tool and just fill the sky with little snowflakes. falling more on the bottom like that okay wipe my tool and there we go I'll pop that under the lamp and then I'll come back with the reveal so here we have the reveal Let me know what you think in the comments, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!